Hey y'all, welcome back to our kitchen. I am so excited to get in here with you guys today because we are gonna be making some really easy, fun Easter appetizers. I feel like of all the holidays, Easter has to be just like one of the most fun as far as like coming up with creative food ideas. If you scroll Pinterest, you're gonna find the most adorable ways that you can make a bunny, a carrot, a like spring field of flowers. So for this first one, we're gonna make some really yummy, easy, carrots but they're not carrots at all okay so for our carrots i have some little mini orange bell peppers here i have a couple that are like more of this yellow color but they will work just fine but we're gonna make like mini bell pepper carrots with like a really yummy um herb little dip to go inside of them so i have some fresh dill here i have some parsley i forgot to set our cream cheese out so i have it back here on the stove and just let the stove preheat to try and like soften that really fast but then to our cream cheese we'll add a little bit of sour cream in there now the recipe of course doesn't call for these two things but i am me and this is my recipe <laughs> so to make it even more yummy i was like i'll put a tiny bit of this kinder's parmesan herb little like crunch stuff in there and then it also just calls for like salt and pepper but i'm gonna put a little bit of the garlic herb seasoning just to kind of carry that flavor throughout and of course we'll have these like nice fresh herbs in there as well to give it a little bit of brightness random thought here you know how there's the uh when you're getting you know a good bagel uh-huh and then there's that garden herb cream cheese yes major shortcut also i just have to say that my bunkie told me this morning that my hair looked really pretty which i thought was so sweet and it's actually all because of divi and i want to say a big thank you to divi for sponsoring today's video so we're gonna get started on our little peppers and basically what we want to do is kind of like trim off the top because we want to be able to stuff the inside of them and eat like it's like a little boat. So once you get it kind of like hollowed out like this, if yours has some seeds and you don't want the seeds in there, I'm just gonna take a little spoon and kind of get those seeds out. And that is probably the hardest part of this entire recipe. Do you want me to take over the uh, carrot preparation duties while you <laughs> get our filling? all conjured up that sounds good i love that we're calling it carrots even though you know they're peppers it's hilarious in my mind like i do not consider those to be bell peppers anymore those are now carrots, they're carrots. in my brain <laughs> so i'm going to go ahead and just take our parsley and our dill and give it like a little rough chop these little carrots that we're preparing uh-huh they're actually something that I think would easily be like uh, make ahead the day before. Oh, for and just, sure. And just keep them in the fridge. So like you can get yourself one step ahead of the game. Go ahead and prep these little carrot boats. That's true. And you know what? I love the idea of like Easter appetizers because when you get home from church and like you're about to cook this big lunch, everyone's like kind of hungry, you know? Like Half the time you miss breakfast that morning because you're just <laughs> like trying to get ready. Or you've just eaten a bunch of chocolate and Reese's peanut butter egg shape bunnies or whatever you know before church and then it's like you get home and everyone's starving so that's why i love the idea of doing like easter appetizers because it just gives everyone something to like snack on while you get like the ham mac and cheese green beans and all of that ready and like monk is saying this would be great to prep the night before and then you don't even have to like think about it just pull them out put them on a really pretty platter and everyone has something to snack on There are a few things I love more than the smell of fresh dill. It is so fragrant and like, oh, makes me just want to eat it. Okay, hopefully my cream cheese is softened up enough to get it out of here and mix it. I'm probably gonna do about half of this to start. I don't think we'll need all of it. Then to make this like a little creamier, I'm gonna do like two tablespoons of this sour cream. This is where we run into trouble with not having a microwave. <laughs> For real though. This is the only time we ever run into trouble with that. Well, if you need the big guns to step in. I think I actually do, Be. Will you see if you can't smear it? You know, another thing, just a random thought here, uh -huh. okay? If you're gonna go the full blown, uh, you know, making your own filling method like we are, there is also, um, I saw how your parents had gotten it. There's that whipped cream cheese. Oh, that would be easy and good. So it's like more airy, soft, and fluffy. 
a nice filling for My this as well. My bonk is coming through with the best ideas today. I know. Oh, you know, you know what else I thought of too as I was over there playing? Please tell us. As I was uh, having fun uh, scraping. Well, there's two things I actually thought of, okay? First of all, scraping out those bell peppers is more fun than scraping out a pumpkin on Halloween. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then, so you know how you have, like, for example, so like we've sliced all those edges off and now you have just these little uh -huh. pieces here. They don't need to go to waste. Yeah. You can put these out. If you got some hummus that you want to just drag one of these bad boys through. Bonky! No, no food scraps go to waste on Easter Sunday, okay? I, I'm literally gonna just leave you in here in this kitchen and let you film this video today because you have the best ideas. Well, you know, sometimes things just come to me. Or you know, if you even have some of this left over, you can just use those and like have them as a dip for I this. Mean, I mean, imagine taking a ridged wavy potato chip oh, into this stuff. Oh, 100%. I mean, now we just took it to a, a different level there, but uh, you know, I think that would also be good and fun. Is La your arm burning yet? No, no, this is, okay. this is nothing. Okay, nothing okay, yeah, here. yeah, sure. Um, last thing that I got for you right now. Tell us. What is, and I, now this may be common knowledge, I don't know. I feel like I just thought of this myself. Okay, no tell me. help. What is the Easter Bunny's favorite genre of music? Hip hop. <laughs> I thought of that all on my own. That was really good. Yeah, yeah hip hop. That yeah. was really good. Hip, hip, hippity hop. Hippity I was trying so hard to figure it out. I, I thought that was really obvious. That was <laughs> really good. So now to this. Now if you don't have this like little Kinder's Parmesan garlic herb, like you can skip this or add whatever you want to. I want this to still be a really pretty bright white. So not too much and not too much of the oil, but just enough to give some flavor in there. And then a little sprinkle. Y'all know, this is like my number one favorite Kinder seasoning. And then all this fresh dill and parsley. Y'all, this smells so good. It's that dill. Look how beautiful this little dip is. Oh, wow. It looks so good. Now, also, you could add scallions to this 100%, and that would give you like even more flavor. We're, we're gonna, gonna pipe it in there. We're gonna pipe this beautiful filling as soon as I cut this little tip off. Just as easily do this with a spoon. Yeah. But we're bringing out all the culinary tricks today. Oh, but it's so much easier and prettier and less messy if you do it like this. Look how perfect that is. Mm -hmm. Such greater control over your... Yeah, and I feel you can kind of get more in there because you can push it in as you go. Now we're not done. This is where it gets really fun. So take some of your dill and make like a tiny little stem and you're just gonna stick it right in the top so it's like your carrot top. How stinking cute is this? Y'all, I cannot handle how precious this is. I also love about this. What? It's an interactive food experience because you get to remove your dill sprig mm -hmm. and then you have um, the way that we made them. You've still got the end of the little bell pepper as your like method of holding, you know? Yes. And you just eat it in one big bite. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a bite sized carrots, you know, like baby carrots. Right, baby carrots. Mm -hmm. Wow. There is nothing more to say than that is absolutely delicious. Easy. So easy and it's fun. It's delicious. Delicious. Yeah, I did that too. Funky. Um, but no, seriously, the little bell peppers are kind of sweet, you know? Mm -hmm. And they're just like counterbalancing with the, uh, all the goodness of the little filling that we made. And I think it's a good crunch with that like creamy filling. Mm -hmm. Those. I can honestly say, I don't think I've ever had that before in my life. Yeah. Like I've had the little bell peppers before and probably some kind of dip, you know, to put them in. But this little technique here is fun. It's the way to go. And it's delicious. Is the filling have good flavor? Oh yeah. That little bit of garlic coming through is kind of important too. Like I, was, I really like that. 
I was gonna say, I um, thought about even putting some garlic paste in there. Mm. That would be really good to amp this yeah. up, or a dash of Worcestershire, or I was even thinking some shredded fresh Parmesan. Oh yeah. I mean, you could just amp this little dip up so many ways. Yeah. Okay, now let's talk about Divi and my beloved scalp serum. This little bottle right here 100% gave me back my confidence. I talked about Divi a couple of months ago, and if you follow me over on Instagram, you've probably heard me talk about Divi for the past couple of years because that's how long I have been using this product. And I know that it is like no secret to you guys, I had a lot of like hair thinning. Actually, I found a picture of like right before I started using the Divi scalp serum, so I'll insert it right here. Right in this area, my hair was thinning so bad. I was so embarrassed I always like parted my hair really far over to the side to like hide it so shortly after that picture was taken I started using this scalp serum and look at me today I have a center part I no longer am embarrassed to show you guys the top of my head so Divi was actually founded by Danny Austin if you don't follow her you should she's one of my very favorite influencers and she was dealing with a lot of hair loss and hair thinning to the point that she started wearing wigs and she's like there's got to be a solution to like thinning hair and so she actually created this incredible incredible brand that has now reached thousands upon thousands of people and just made such a difference in the hair community and the confidence in people. So right here on the bottle, it says revitalize and detoxify. And I feel like that is the best two words to describe what this serum does. It truly revitalized my hair, like back to life basically. And what I think is so cool about this is like, if you're like me, I use a lot of dry shampoo, hairspray, texture spray, like all the products, right? And that can leave a lot of buildup on your hair. And so this actually goes in and detoxifies your scalp so that your hair can live in the healthiest environment possible to promote good hair growth and it nourishes your follicle it has amino acids peptides essential oils this scalp serum has been clinically tested and 90 percent of participants notice an improvement in the fullness of their hair and the fullness was noticed in as little as six weeks so how do you use scalp serum i like to use mine on damp hair and by the way this isn't just for women this is for anyone and everyone so after the shower and I towel dry my hair I'll go in with my Divi scalp serum shake it really well get a dropper full and then I like to do mine in sections so I'll take a section of my hair flip it over and then go in right at my root and do like a little line and then I like to massage it in really well almost two years of using this Divi scalp serum and I cannot recommend this enough to you guys they use science back ingredients even if you just want healthier fuller looking hair you are going to love this Divi scalp serum I am so pumped for y'all try Divi you just have no idea and they gave us a discount so be sure to use my code Jessica O and you're gonna get 15% off site-wide on any one-time purchase of Divi excluding the subscriptions moving right along here to our next recipe which also is carrots but this time we're actually using carrots I've got some honkin big carrots over here we actually only need three ingredients so get you some like it could be smaller <laughs> Well, These the, things are so big. Those are organic carrots as well, so. <laughs> They're the only ones we could find, so apparently it is definitely like Easter season and everyone's like getting carrots, you know, to yeah. prepare. Well, but we gotta, we gotta keep the Easter bunny happy, you know Exactly, what I mean? exactly. Your ingredients, you need carrots, maple syrup, and bacon. So you probably see where we're going with this, but I mean, those three things sound really amazing. And if y'all remember a couple of videos back, I told you like one of my favorite go-to side dishes lately is like roasted carrots. It mm -hmm. is my thing. So when I saw this and I was like, wait, it's roasted with bacon and maple syrup. I'm like, mm -hmm, yeah. I definitely have to try Staying these. Staying true to the game yes. over here. So I went ahead and washed these and basically I'm just gonna try and peel them. Now they're supposed to be a little bit yeah, thin. Yeah, we're gonna have to like cut those in half or something. <laughs> I'm gonna peel quite a few uh, layers off of here. Oh, you know what? <gasps> it did work. I was gonna say, I saw this trick where you can go back and forth, but like, wait, yeah. you actually can. Wow. <gasps> wait, that is so much fun. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see what you're saying. We can just half this so that it's a lot thinner. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. At first I was like, I thought you meant just cut it this way. And I'm like, well, that's not gonna help. That's what you're saying. <laughs> you're wasting all that carroty goodness now. So I'm just gonna trim off our little tips. And then like Bunky said, on these like really thick ones, I'm gonna cut it in half. Pretty, good enough. Pretty good. Pretty good. So you're gonna wanna use like regular bacon for this and not the thick cut. And you're just gonna start here at the bottom and then just start wrapping this all the way, but try not to overlap it. So like, 
just kind of make it go wide. Mm. Just like that. Mm. So good. So once you get all of your carrots wrapped, you're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. And it'll pop them out with like 10 minutes to go and we'll brush them with our maple syrup. Uh, see, I was wondering when that was coming Ooh! coming into the party. Be so good. Those things are just gonna like uh, basically just simmer and fry in some good old bacon grease Ooh, and I just can't wait. become so the good. best carrot sticks you've ever had. Okay, I just got smart about this and I was like, I think I need a wire rack. So I pulled these out, put the wire rack down, and then I'm gonna brush them with our maple syrup and get them back in there for just a few more minutes, but they smell so good. that bacon got so like sweet and caramelized it's almost eating like a carrot lollipop <laughs> mm. and carrots like naturally sweetened when yeah. they get cooked sometimes oh i'm ecstatic for this okay i feel like beautiful presentation as well and if you can find carrots that have like the green stem on the end so cute but i guess if you have a green stem they're gonna like fry it in the oven so maybe not the green stem <laughs> <laughs> Going in for the whole thing, everybody. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm, like, I'm not sure if you're supposed to eat this with a fork and knife, but I'm just like going in on this thing. Fork and knife. Oh, uh, okay. I'll, I'll be the. I'll be polite and do it that way. <laughs> oh, they're so tender. You just like cut right through there. Mmm. Y'all, this is good. Oh my god. <laughs> Here's what makes it: the crunchiness of that bacon with the softness of the carrot. Mm -hmm. Unbeatable. Also, the maple syrup is incredible, like just the icing on the cake, but I also think I could do a couple little red pepper flakes on this to give it a little heat, and yeah. I would love that. So if you love heat, I would say I have a couple. Mm -hmm. But it's like that sweet salty because the bacon is like salty with the carrot, you know, it's naturally sweet. So it is that like perfect flavor combination. Oh, these are insane. Yeah. And as I'm like, you know, holding the whole thing, like I was uh -huh. giving you a hard time with a fork and knife, you know, but those carrots are so tender mm -hmm. and that maple syrup flavor just... Y'all, get you a side of maple syrup and dunk this carrot in the maple syrup, yeah, okay? Yeah, it ain't gonna hurt anything, you know, <laughs> but... Uh... But like the maple syrup, I think really plays well with the carrot mm -hmm. standalone and bacon standalone. So together. So you, you wrap this carrot with some bacon and then put maple syrup on it, you got yourself a winner. Oh, it's good. These are delicious. Now for this next recipe, I made it last summer, but it would not be Easter without my mom's Watergate salad. So I'm gonna take you guys back and share this one again because it is a crowd pleaser. And if you've never made it, your friends and family are gonna love it. So here's what you need to make her Watergate salad. Some mini marshmallows, some chopped walnuts. She always adds some coconut flakes into hers and also a couple like maraschino cherries and we will drain them. I'm pretty sure she just kind of like adds these on top and then you'll need some like Cool Whip or Whip's Chopping, a can of crushed pineapple with the juice and I accidentally got the huge can so only use like half of that and then you'll need a package of instant pudding pistachio mix. That's kind of hard to say. <laughs> so we're gonna start by adding our packet of pistachio instant pudding. I feel like this is a recipe that a lot of people bring to like a home cooking or um, potluck. potluck, something like that. What's my mom's church call it? Homecoming. My mom's church calls it homecoming. I feel like this is like one of those recipes, or like a 4th of July party. The recipe calls for eight ounces, and this is like 20 ounces, so like half of this can with the juice. <laughs> I think I just messed up this. Oh gosh. Uh-oh. Oh no. That's not good. Do we have a can opener in here? I don't know that we do. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hmm, what are we gonna do about this? We don't have a can opener in here. I don't think are we you do. Sure? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna need you to uh, use your Eagle Scout abilities, a knife hack or something. I'm thinking, I'm thinking if I have anything. <laughs> what do you think you found? All right, so I've got my Leatherman here. A little bit of backstory on this actually. When we got married, I gave all of our um, groomsmen yeah. this as their present. 
and I'm hoping... 12 years later, this is going to come in handy, B. Yeah, this thing just uh, saves the day a lot of the time. I'm thinking it might have a can opener on it. Yes, that is awesome. <laughs> now, we're going to have to go about this the, uh, the old-fashioned way. The question is... Am I going to be capable of using this and doing it? I think I think so. I think you just like bonky. That is awesome. <laughs> well, now we know if we ever get stuck with just a can of beans to eat on the side of the road, we're going to be golden. We're going to have something to eat. And this is a lesson to me that I need to get a can of butter for the RV. I feel like the more we're in here, like we find little things that we like forget that we don't have in here that it's like we have a running list. So I'm adding can of butter to that list. I am so impressed. Like that is awesome, monkey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of stir this together. I always feel like this is such a pretty colorful dish that you can like put out yeah i like i like the color that it has too now we're just going to kind of fold in the rest of our ingredients so i'm going to add about like half a cup of these chopped walnuts it's probably good i'm going to look at a handful of our coconut flakes and then i'll add some of these on top as well to make it really pretty about one cup of miniature marshmallows and then we'll fold in our whipped topping as well You just keep folding and folding until all of this whipped topping is also the color of that pistachio pudding mix. I don't want to like break it up too much so I'm trying to like really gently just fold it in here. This has to be one of like the easiest little things to throw together and it's just like a good kind of like more light dessert. It doesn't yeah. feel like quite as filling which is also nice for summertime yeah. you know. And Bunky's hilarious. When you're in the RV you like get creative. He's like this bowl ain't gonna fit in our fridge so he just washed out our whipped topping bowl. We're gonna put it in here, pop it in the fridge, and then this will be easy to take out to the beach as well, put the mm -hmm. cooler. Okay, now for presentation. First of all, so this is what you want it to look like. It's nice and light and fluffy and has a really pretty color. And then for presentation, I'm just gonna add some more of our little coconut flakes. Yeah. And then I'm gonna kind of like just dollop our little cherries all over the top. Okay, does it look like my mom's? I think so. I mean, this looks just like it should. This is going to be, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is one this, of Bunky's favorites. This stuff is so good. I got a little bit of everything. Got me a cherry in here. I don't know why, but I absolutely love this. I wonder if the pistachio pudding mix has like a lot of really good flavor. Mm hmm and then there's so many different textures in it. That's what I like too. See, I think the walnut gives like a nice little crunch to kind of go through all of like the whipped cream and marshmallow. That's like the mm -hmm. mushiness. And then, I mean, I love coconut. And then that pistachio pudding is not something that like, you know, I, I mean, maybe people eat that like standalone. I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's good standalone. But when you just put all of this stuff together. Yes. And the, then the it looks so good. The kicker of it all, though, is the cherries. See, Mom said that a lot of Watergate salads don't actually have cherries or coconut flakes. Oh, that's, that's like her little added touch. So y'all oh. have to tell us if you make this, do you yeah. add that to yours? And if not, you gotta try it. I mean, I absolutely love this stuff. Mm. It is so good. It just looks so pretty too. It's such a cute little summer salad. Oh, it's fantastic. Or summer dessert, I guess. This is like a little side item that I actually don't even get it as my dessert really. Like, yeah. I get it with my stuff. So like you're having like a hot dog, hamburger, you got some beans, you know, whatever. And then you got this like on the side because this is not really, really sweet. Yeah. Like it, and it's just so... It kind of balances it out. It gives you something that's like kind of fresh and light mm -hmm. with like your um, more high, savory Yes, items. exactly. And it's just so fluffy. It is so fluffy. <laughs> okay, this is a must try. I'm telling y'all, like, everyone asked mom to make it. I know you're going to love it if you've never tried it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with us in the kitchen today. I hope you will try some of these recipes for your Easter lunch or dinner. I'll have them linked down below for you. Also, do not forget to check out Divi. I'll have that code and all the information down below as well. As always, if you're new, we would love for you to subscribe. Join our family. Give this one a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one.
Fail.